Welcome to the Mindfulness Experience Podcast. My name is Keith Fiveson. On this Microdose Wonderland interview, we have Jamie Bonfiglio. She's the founder, owner, and formulator at Whole Sun Wellness Medicinal Mushrooms. She's also an educator, researcher, community builder, formulator of the Whole Sun Wellness and the Utah Fungi Festival. She lectures to audiences worldwide on the benefits of medicinal mushrooms and is an advocate for higher standards in mushrooms mushrooms, cultivating, and processing. Please listen in. I enjoyed meeting with Jamie. I hope you do too. Hey, hey, hey. I am here with Jamie Bonfilio with Whole Sun Wellness at the Wonderland Conference. Uh, Jamie, uh, how are you? I'm good. 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 good, good. So you've got this company, Whole Sun Wellness. Tell me, what, what what's that about? Well, we're a global medicinal mushroom company. We're in all of your retailers and in clinics, but then we're also a raw ingredient supplier. We're vertically integrated, so this means we are in charge of all of our farms, operation, extraction from start to finish. So extraction, so tell me a little bit about that because I understand that you've got like two sides of the company and you know, we're here at the Wonderland Psychedelics uh, Conference. It's all about psychedelics and you've got two particular sides specifically as it relates to psilocybin yes so we so we have our functional side that's in all the stores and everything but the other side of my company is focused more on the growing of psilocybin and the manufacturing and extraction so a lot of companies are emerging and wanting to come out with products well there's got to be a company that's producing it and making sure it's being produced correctly so the mushrooms are still getting those vital compounds and nutrients and the extraction is being done properly so if people are putting them in a formulation consumers are getting the benefits of the psilocybin not just dried mushroom powders got it okay so there's been a lot of press uh, there's a re- uh, today as a matter of fact in the on cnn there was a press article about uh, the benefits of psilocybin and then there are a lot of companies that are here some biopharma companies like compass that are doing extractions and they're actually pat uh, putting a patent Synthetic, synthetic psilocybin that they're doing, yeah. like more pharmaceutical. So, I mean, I've met a lot of companies that are doing that. That's great, but I'm still a purist. I think the raw mushroom itself and growing it properly is the best kind of form of psilocybin you're going to get over a synthetic. You know, to me, that well, that's my opinion. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. But, but let me ask you: Is it uh, what's commercially available? Where can you get it? How can you get it? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that and what you're doing in terms of that process. So right now, it is not really legally available anywhere as far as I know. I know Canada is starting to make that leap. We are working with companies over there on our microdosing formulas that we already have. But here in the U.S., I have not heard of anywhere having it legally. So with our situation, we have a lab in Oregon. Our lab in Oregon is called Aaliyah Bioscience. We are working with the state to get the licensing to be able to grow, produce, and extract and do R&D since Oregon is starting to pass different laws starting in 2023. But right now, I don't know of anywhere you can buy it legally and put it into your products and sell it. So I know it's happening. So wait, so wait, so wait a second. I'm a little confused. So we're talking about this is a process that you're involved with. This is you're yes. creating your own formulas, yes. and yet, are you saying that you can't buy them, or what can you buy? I am not. Uh, yeah, you cannot. As far as I know, you cannot buy psilocybin products well, in can, the U.S. What can we buy from you? Uh, just the functional mushrooms, like lion's mane, cordyceps, and everything. Yeah, I mean, as a company, we want to evolve into the space, and that's why we've already set up our own operations on the functional side, like lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, all of that, that are dual extracts that we sell. But our goal is to progress also on the psilocybin side. So when it does become legal, we're already there producing it and testing and doing genetics and finding out what strains, cultures are going to be best for what, you know, and producing it correctly. So when we do supply it to other companies as a supplier, that they're getting a high potent product, just like our functional mushrooms that we already sell in the stores and in clinics. Got it. Okay. So we've got functional mushrooms. Then we've got the psilocybin. When we start talking about the stack, the microdose stack, you're already sort of setting the stage. 
Yes, I am. Yeah, and we're already working with a clinic in Canada right now. I mean, again, Canada's rules are different than here in the U.S. I'm hoping that eventually we'll evolve correctly here. I mean, there's a lot of decriminalization going on and stuff, but it still isn't allowing my company to go put it out in the market. I know there are companies that are already selling, but with the clinical background that we're doing with our company and this set, trying to set standards and regulations in an industry that I don't feel there is enough standards and regulations on quality and processing, we want to make sure we're doing it correctly so we are able to offer this when it is fully legal and not get in trouble for doing something differently. Got it. Okay, so you've got the available uh, traditional mushrooms that are available in Lion's Mane. And tell, tell me a, a little bit about your blend because when we start looking at, um, you know, there's like various products that are out there today, right? Mushroom tea, yeah. forget the, you know, forget the coffee, let's go out to a, a nice mushroom blend. Yeah. But, but what are the benefits and what are the benefits now for somebody to go ahead and start taking your product? We have like a deep immune, a real energy, a deep brain, a deep digest, and our brand new one, a deep sleep. So we've stacked it that way for different functions. A deep sleep, whoa. Yeah, and we just introduced here in the U.S. pure mycelium. So not only are we doing the fruiting body extracts, we are now one of the only companies in the U.S. offering 100% pure mycelium liquid fermentation that has no grain, no rice, nothing. So you're getting the whole mycelium benefits plus the fruiting body and so our deep sleep, we just showcase that with the mycelium. But all of our blends are 100% mushroom extracts. We're not adding anything else except the mushrooms and they're really structure function for sleep, for energy. So somebody that's new to mushrooms, those are great products to take of ours to get that brain support, energy, immune, the immune one is almost like a multivitamin of mushrooms. So, and that's another thing my company has done. We've brought out nutritional information on all of our mushrooms, which is not common in the industry too. So you get like the active components, the compounds, plus the nutrition. And so when someone is taking these products, they're like, wow, like I really do have energy today. I can feel it. We want them to feel the difference. We recommend people taking the blends to start and get into mushrooms. And then we also recommend taking our product and stop taking it when you run out to see if you notice the difference in your body. Right, so if I was gonna go ahead and make a comparison, you know, I'm uh, plant-based, 100% plant-based, and you know, whole foods, uh, so you know, foods that are live versus foods that are industrialized or processed. So when we start taking a look at your line, what you're saying pretty much is that you're working with whole foods, whole products, you're trying to bring it to market in its original form, if you will, yes. uh, rather than being processed or diluted. Exactly, or exactly. The, one of the biggest problems we're seeing on the supply side, because we are a supplier as well, so we offer our mushrooms to other companies, is a lot of stuff that's coming over from China and stuff actually is chock full of dextrin. So we're, when we're testing it out, there is a lot of additives and it's a dried mushroom powder. It's not pure mushrooms and they're definitely not extracts. So as a company, we're really trying to educate on that spectrum too. It's like consumers have the right to know what they're taking, especially if someone goes in and buys a mushroom product because they're all stoked, they see it online, whatever. They buy something that they think is a mushroom product. They take it, it has absolutely no benefit. There's a whole bunch of fillers in it. It's not even an extract. It's ruined that consumer to want to try mushrooms again. So we're really just trying to educate the purity and like, hey, we know our process start to finish. We put it on our labels. We have full transparency. We want everyone to be doing the same thing. Got it. If that Got it. So, so let me ask you a question. You start talking about the consumer and we start talking about incorporating this into my lifestyle. So what is it going to cost me? Do I have to be a, a billionaire, a zillionaire? Or, I mean, I'm going to figure it, like, give me a sense because I, I'm like a big, you know, vitamin kind of a guy and I really want to get a sense in terms of like from a consumer viewpoint, why should they go your route than rather go a cheaper route? So with ours, okay, so say for our powders, because we offer capsules and powders, our powders is a two month supply, they're mid 40s and you're getting an extract, right? And now you're getting the mycelium in there as well. So it's pretty potent. 
We always say less of our product is bet, uh, better because we don't need a, a lot. It's therapeutic, right? A fourth of a teaspoon has been measured out for therapeutic and the high amounts of nutrition. So you got mid 40s, even the capsules are the same way. They're mid 40s and most of the stores and even our website, the people that carry our products, we're always doing great partnerships to make it affordable for a consumer. It should not cost a lot of money to be healthy. When I started my company, I came from the mushroom industry working for another mushroom company. And it was like selling people all this, you know, all these products, walking out with $200 uh, at the end of the day. And I was like, that's ridiculous. Right. People should get a high quality product that's affordable and feel the benefit. It's something that they're not having to take more of where it's a preventative. And if it's a clinical thing, they're taking the right amount until it helps their body get detoxified, restore a balance where they don't, they can just use it as a preventative. They don't have to take it all the time. So let me ask you, uh, start talking about detoxing and so on and so forth. Are there benefits to taking the product, even if you're like still, you know, you're not a vegan, you're not plant-based, you're, you're having like a heavy meat diet or, you know, you're way overweight or you've got some health issues, you've got bad biomes in your stomach. You know, what, what, tell, tell me a little bit about that from you. So, yes, medicinal mushrooms, everybody should be taking that. They are truly the most therapeutic superfood that we can put in our body. We're more genetically close to mushrooms than we are plants, right? Whoa, whoa, wait a second. You're saying we're like mushrooms? We are. We're shrooms. We're big sponges. <laughs> If you look there, there's even a mushroom. If you look it up, the Earth Star, you just type in human looking mushrooms. They seriously have a head, body and arms. I mean, it's it's crazy. I'm not saying you're a mushroom, but yes. Thank you for being a part of the Mindfulness Experience podcast, the Microdose Wonderland interviews. There's more coming up, so stay tuned. Make sure to scroll through all of our podcasts on technology, mindfulness, and psychedelics, and much, much more. Connect with me on social media platforms. Visit my website at workmindfulness.com. This is Keith Fiveson. Thank you again. See you on the next show. Take care.